Hello friends, so welcome to Geology Concepts. In this part, this is the second part where we will be discussing the uh, part B or section 1 which is for only geology students of the GATE 2022 GG paper. So let's start. The first question here is a coarse grained rock consists of 55% of olivine, 25% augite which is a clinopyroxene and 20% enstite which is orthopyroxene. According to IGS classification, the rock will be. Now, if you remember this diagram from IGS classification, 25% augite and 20% enstite is somewhere the ratio between orthopyroxene means CPX is a little higher, but they are somewhere here, ye region, right? And uh, olivine is around 55%, so it is around here. So this is the area we are talking about. So leherzolite will be the correct option. So the, uh, the name of the rock here will be Lazolite, which has this composition. Okay. The rock type used to build the walls of red fort in Delhi is, it's a sandstone which is used. Right? Red fort is a red sandstone that is used. Right? So A will be the correct option, red sandstone. Second, during crystallization of magma, which one of the following schematic paths is described by the behavior of a compatible element? See, a compatible element is the one whose KD value is greater than 1. And also we know KD is equal to CS by CL. Right? That means it is preferring to stay in the solid. Now, when crystallization is happening from magma, a crystallization is happening, all the compatible elements will concentrate in the solid part. Right? So, in the liquid, it is asking you what will be the behavior in the residual melt. So obviously the concentration in the residual, residual melt will decrease, right? So the fourth option will be correct. So it will decrease as the fraction of crystals are increasing, right? So B will be the correct option here. Now let's see 30th question. In the geological map of India, which of the following geological unit has the largest area? So it is the Deccan Volcanic province, province which has the largest area. It has an area of about 0.5 million kilometer square which is a huge area. Right? Uh, Vindhyan supergroup has, has around 50,000 but this is 500,000 million square kilometer. So B is the correct option. 32. Which one of the following is a dinosaur? Stegodon is the elephant. Stegosaurus is the dinosaur. It is a plant eating dinosaur. Also, the word saurus is enough to identify because saurus means lizard, right? Dino means terrifying. Saur means the terrifying lizard is the name given to dinosaur because they are reptiles, right? So, stegosaurus. Equus is the horse. Otoceras is the cephalopod, fossil of a cephalopod, okay? So, B will be the correct option here, B. The Hoke Brown failure envelope is typically the segment on which of the following? So, if you look at Hoke Brown failure surface, it is tangential to the Mohar Coulomb and it is empirical, right? It is empirical. So, it comes something like this. So, it is, it is like a parabola. So, if you also see the equation, this equation is of a parabola. So, the it typically envelops in a parabolic fashion. So, it is parabolic. 34. Which of the following is the optical spectral, spectral window suitable for remote sensing? So if you see the windows here, it starts from around 0.4, right? And it goes till about 14, right? From 0.4 to 14, there are many windows here, right? So optical spectral, spectral window is from 0 0.4 to 14 micrometers, okay? Then 35th. This is easy question. A radioactive nucleus is this 290x92 decays to 278y87 number of alpha and beta particles. So first of all, beta particle will not decrease the atomic mass. Atomic mass is directly related to alpha particle, alpha particle emission. So the change in atomic mass 290 minus 278, right? So this is 2 this will be 9, yeah, 8, 12, right? So 12 is the change in the atomic mass. 
so if atomic mass is changing by 12 and each alpha particle is changing the atomic mass mass by 4 because alpha particle is 2 he4 so three alpha particles will be required to change the atomic mass by 12 so three alpha particles to nickeling three alpha now this three alpha will also decrease the atomic number by six because each is decreasing by two so atomic number should decrease by six so 92 minus six should be 86 86 should be the atomic mass but now here it is 87 87 right that means it, there is a beta negative emission that increases the atomic number so d will be the correct option here 3 alpha and 1 beta when you when you take out 1 beta this 86 will convert into 87 so you will get this so it will be beta emission negative beta not positron it will be beta dk okay 35th next question 36 the silicate minerals that commonly occurs in regionally metamorphosed siliceous dolomitic limestone see Diopside has a formula of MgCa Si2O6 and tremolite has calcium, magnesium, iron. So A and C is the correct option. C. Wollastonite is not forming in a in a let's say in a in a regionally metamorphosed region, uh, regional metamorphism. It is a product of contact metamorphism, right? When a calcareous rock is intruded by some dike in contact metamorphism, then you get wollastonite. So, Wollstonite is not the option. Cordierite does not have any Mg in it. So, it is also not the correct option. A and C will be the correct option here. Now, if you look at 37, what, which of the natural hazard listed below can be caused by earthquakes? Cyclones and lightning is not caused by earthquakes. Tsunamis is caused by underwater earthquakes and landslide is also caused by earthquakes sometimes. So, A and B can be caused by earthquakes. Can be. Okay. Now 38. Which of the following is the driving force behind plate motion? Now see here, uh, the slap pull is definitely the correct answer because uh, this book by Ken C. Condi, Earth as an evolving planetary system, it says 95% of the net driving force of the plate is coming from slap pull. Slap pull amount for 95%. Rich push and drag forces are no more than 5% of the total. So, rich push is also giving some, you know, contribution in the plate motion. But there are a lot of doubts about mantle convection. Okay. Most of the books in Fowler also, if you see, there is still much that is not understood because it is still in debate. But there are inferences that can tell you that uh, the pull of the descending plate at the conversion boundary due to its decrease in temperature seems to be a major factor. The slab pull is definitely the major factor in you know the plate motion but there are arguments that also supports mantle convection. So answer can be A, B and C. A and B is definitely uh, the answer. It remains to be seen the, the what uh, IIT Kharagpur gives as the answer but uh, c can also be the answer because there are there you can find some books that will give you uh, you know uh, text in support of mental convection there are some scientists who believe that mental con mental convection is not playing any role not much role not significant role but again we'll see but a b c or a b can be the correct option here so 39th which of the following is a copper mineral? Of course, bornite and covellite is the correct option here. These two are not copper minerals at all. Right? And uh, 48. Which of the following is stratigraphic unit in the Vindhyan supergroup commercially significant limestone? So, Bhandir formation and Rothas formation, they both have significant amount of limestone in it. So, A and D will be the correct option here. 39 also, A and D is the correct option. 41 here the strike and dip of the axial plane of a reclined fold is 22 degree and 28 degree southeast respectively so 22 degree is the direction and 28 degrees is the dip the plunge direction in of the axis of the reclined fold is the plunge direction you have to tell okay so if you see here the definition given by fluidity of reclined fold is that the plane dips from 10 and 80 degrees between 10 and 80 degrees so obviously the dip is 28 so it is between 10 and 80 
and the pitch of the hinge line now see pitch of the hinge line if you focus on this diagram here this red figure here is the axial plane so and this is your strike so this is 0 2 2 right and this is your fold axis the pitch of the fold axis is more than 80 degrees almost more than 80 degrees and sometimes it is almost 90 right so we can say that the B plunge or you can say bearing of this fold axis is perpendicular to the strike of the axial plane right if this angle is 90 here so this this plunge direction will be 0 2 2 plus 90 degrees which is nothing but 2 9 to 11 112 degrees so here answer will be 112 so remember this that the plunge direction of the hinge line is perpendicular to the strike direction of the axial plane in case of reclined fold right so this is the definition of reclined fold so answer here will be 112 degrees the shrinkage factor of a crude oil is 0 0.7 is formation factor so formation volume factor is nothing but 1 upon shrinkage factor so this is a simple question 1 upon 0 0.7 which is 10 by 7 so it would 1 decimal places 717 1.4 right so 1.44 so it will be one decimal place it will be 1.4 right 43rd the cross section of a river channel is approximately approximated by a trapezium so the channel is looks something like this right this is how a channel looks like a trapezium the river has an average channel width of 40 meters the average width here is 40 meters and the average depth here is 3 meters right if the average flow of the speed average flow speed is 2 meters per second the discharge so discharge we know is area into volume or area into speed right area into flow speed now area here will be it is 40 by 30 40 by 3 so 120 we are approximating it because this is giving you the average agar in the upper niche ki width de di hoti then we could have calculated the area of trapezium by half sum of parallel sides into height right but they have given you the average width right so this a plus b by 2 they have given only right so directly it will be 40 into 3 so 40 into 3 into 2 will be the answer here which is 240 240 meter cube per second okay this will be the correct option here 44 a mineral of composition uniform composition is cut into a wedge shape so this is a wedge shape right this is a wedge shape the birefringence of this wedge section is 0 0.012 the beta is given as 0 0.012 okay the retardation at 40 micrometer thickness so thickness will change here the thickness will be zero thickness will be increasing at some level where thickness is 40 micrometers it is asking you what will be the retardation so 40 micrometers so retardation is given by by refringence into thickness right but it is asking you retardation in nanometers so let's see it is 0 0.0.012 into 40 into 10 to the power minus 6 right meters now i can remove this point and this becomes 1000 now this 10 to power minus 6 divided by 1000 this is 10 to power minus 9 which is nano so i can write this as 12 into 40 nanometers remember 10 to power minus 6 divided by 1000 is nothing but 10 to power minus 9 which is nothing but nano right i can write nano and from here i get 12 and 40 so this becomes 480 nanometers so answer here will be 480 the tardation will be 480 nanometers okay the sand supply of the very and the variability of the wind easy question multi-directional and lot of sand supply will give you a star dune right so one will be star dune and here unidirectional and less sand supply will give you a bark and dune limited sand supply 
so b will be the correct option star dune and bark and dune okay which of the following statement is correct salt drone traps are abundant in upper assam basin this is wrong fold and thrust related traps are common in mumbai offshore no this is wrong limestone is the predominant reservoir in the kami basin it is there but it is not predominant sandstone is the reservoir rock in krishna godavari basin this is correct krishna godavari basin sandstone is the reservoir rock here identify the common metamorphic minerals labeled x and y in this figure c acf may this point is your grossular which is your calcium garnet and this point is diapside so x is grossular and b is diapside which of the following schematic paths pt paths is characteristic of a rock metamorphosis in a subduction zone so see when you are in a subduction zone right because of this collision pressure increases very quickly and this slab is very cold right it is a oceanic plate which is cold lithospheric plate when it goes down it the temperature takes some time to increase so in this the dynamics will be the pressure increases faster than the temperature so if you see here if you see this graph temperature is increasing faster than the pressure so this is wrong here this is very wrong this is not possible right this is also not possible because you are not starting from this high temperature this is wrong here b this is increasing pressure and increasing temperature so this is correct so b is the correct option here this is the subduction it reaches the maximum pressure then because of erosion and some uplift the pressure starts to decrease but temperature continues to increase right and t max comes somewhere here so this is p max and this is t max this is the path of a subduction zone taken by a subduction zone all right which of the following is the correct statement folas is the swimming form this is wrong it uh, it is it goes inside so in, it is a stone borer venus is a shallow borer this is correct pecten is a stone borer no pecten is a swimming form spondylus is a deep borer no it is a cemented form or or it can be in a free flowing area where the energy is high so spondylus this is also so b is the correct option here venus is a shallow borer fault surface with strike 320 and 55 degree northeast dip so this is the this is north so 320 so this is the strike and this direction is the dip which way degree four sets of second lines were measured by geologist given that the fault surface was measured correctly there is nothing means there is no approximation nahi it is measured very accurately the plunge and the plunge direction the lineation of the fault surfaces plunge 55 degrees and uh, 50 degrees so if see 55 degrees of plunge is only possible when it is dipping in the same direction when the lineation is dipping in the same direction then only it can have 55 degrees plunge now if uh, this is 40 degrees because this is 320 and uh, this is 50 then only this will be perpendicular so the bearing should be 050 which is here so a is the correct option this is possible 20 320 degrees no at 320 degrees if the if the bearing is 320 degrees then it has to be zero degree plunge because it is parallel to the strike so this is not possible 50 at 325 no if you just go from 320 to 325 the dip the plunge will be little more than zero it cannot be 50 degrees so this is also wrong 60 it cannot be more than the dip of the plane itself so 60 is also not possible so a is the correct option here okay match this which of match the following tectonic settings okay rift basin so gulf of suez is a rift basin passive margin west coast of india will be a passive margin to so p2q3 p2q3 so this is wrong uh, this is wrong so either a and c is correct subducting ocean obviously pacific ring of fire right it is subducting along the whole north america right so r is 1 p2q3 r1 P two Q R so A is the correct option here. Okay, collision will be Mediterranean. So R one S four fifty two. 
texture you have to match with the uh, definition okay vitro fire vitro is related to glassy matrix so p will be 4 large ferrocrist with vitro porphyry vitreous and porphyry together is vitro fire porphyro means phenocryst and uh, glassy matrix so p is 4 rapa kiwi alkali feldspar rimmed with plagioclase this is rapa kiwi oceli aggregated radially arrayed needle like crystals of plagioclase this is oceli spinifex is basically olivine right a skeletal olivine so p4 okay p4 q1 q1 r2 s3 okay c will be the correct option here okay 53 53 may uh, match the following beshi beshi is your mafic volcanic siliciclastic Bathrust is felsic volcanic siliciclastic. Kuroko is felsic volcanics, and Cypress is mafic volcanics. So B will be the correct option. P two Q four R one and N S three. Good question. This one following is the diagram of phase relationship between the two A and B components, starting with the uniform uh, with the composition R. Okay, so let's see. The first option says on complete crystallization of magma, the final composition of rock consists of 25 mineral A and 75 percent of mineral B. So let's see when complete crystallization happens. This um, complete crystallization it will come here. This because it is not a fractional crystallization. Right. If all of this liquid is converting into solid, the final solid will also have the same composition. So it should have 75 of B and 25 of A. This is correct. A will be correct. On cooling of magma, mineral A will be the first to crystallize. If you cool the magma, it is intersecting the solidus of liquidus of B. Obviously, B will crystallize first. So this is wrong. At point Q, okay, this point, void percentage of crystal and liquid, okay. So we'll draw a line. We have to use the liver rule here, okay. So this length, sixty, and this is seventy-five. So this is fifteen, and seventy-five and hundred. This is twenty-five, okay. So what will be the amount of uh, crystal and liquid, okay? So okay so this is the solid part here and this is the liquid so liquid will be equal to uh, 25 divided by 40 into 100 right this is 2.5 so 25 into 2.5 will be 62.5 so liquid will be 62.5 so liquid is 62.5 and 100 minus liquid will be crystal with 30 so c is also correct c is correct the composition in weight percent of liquid e at point as a liquid at point e so e is eutectic okay at eutectic 40 this 40 will be of b and 60 will be of a 40 of no this is wrong 40 will be of b Right, 40 B and 60 A because 40 this is for B, 100, 80, 70, 60, 40. So 40 will be of B. So A and C will be correct. Which of the following tracks indicate regression? So if you remember this graph, from this graph you can directly see this whole region is of regression. Right. So transgressive system tract. Transgressive system tract will give you transgression. So this is not the correct option. Falling stage system tract is regression. Falling stage system tract is regression. B is correct. HST high stand system tract is also regression. So this is also correct. Low stand system tract is also regression. So B, C, D will be the correct option. Falling stage, high land system tract and low stand system tract will be regression. Okay. This diagram is very important. This diagram is very important. It is also very uh, informative in terms of uh, what deposit, uh, how the sea level will change and deposits will come. Okay. Okay. So 
which of the following sedimentary features indicate sub aerial exposure sub aerial okay sub aerial is near the surface okay it's not submarine submarine group cast is submarine so this is wrong double mud trap is also submarine right this is happening in the the hamoki cross stratification mein hamoki jahan pe milta hai you can get mud drips but these are both submarine rain print is on the surface adhesion ripple is on the surface so c and d will be the correct option here 57 which of the following statements correct diatoms are algal forms this is correct dinoflagellates are unicellular algae correct pteropods pteropods are planktonic gastropods yes and uh, radiolarians are organic wall no radiolarians are siliceous wall so a b and c is uh, correct option here which of the porphyro class listed below is suitable for kinematic indicators sigma type is yes a kinematic indicator theta type no because it doesn't have any wings so it cannot tell you anything right it will just be something like this so this is not a kinematic indicator delta is kinematic indicator yes this is correct d phi phi is something like this this is like this it doesn't tell you any direction here okay it's very symmetrical about it so this is also not a kinematic indicator a and c is the correct option which of the following parameters is rock mass rating based on so rock mass rating is based on six parameters one is unconfined compressive strength so this is correct rqd this is also correct spacing of discontinuities condi condition of discontinuities ground water condition so c is also correct and orientation of discontinuities so these three are based on discontinuities like joints and everything but there is no dependency or no parameter on rock composition so this is wrong a b and c again here will be the correct options a sample of coal a sample of coal 10 g yields 1 g of moisture so moisture content is 1 g 2 g of ash and 5.6 g of volatile matter what is the percentage of volatile matter content of the coal on dry ash free basis okay so first of all we want to calculate percentage volcanic vol vol volatile matter so obviously 5.6 g divided by 10 dry so let's remove the moisture 10 minus 1 ash free let's remove the ash this is the basis on which we have to calculate the percentage of volatile matter see dry ash free so remove moisture remove ash in 200 you have to give it in percentage so this will be 5.6 divided by 7 into 100 so this is 0.8 into 100 which is 80 80 percent will be the option so don't write percent okay 80 will you write 80 here don't put the percentage sign never put the percentage sign just numeric value you have to enter okay 62 a soil sample shows an average beta count of 6.8 counts per minute okay so you have a fossil that has a soil that has a 6.8 counts per minute per gram of activity okay okay the the count rate for organic carbon of present day vegetation if you take a normal vegetation of present day it has the value of 15.26 so when the soil was when the carbon in the soil was fresh at that time it would have been 15.26 so if to see it like this 15.26 and after some time till now it has become 6.8 right cpm per gram so this is the change it's like and how much how many years will it take so this is a question which is simply based on your first order kinetics okay so see i can tell you two ways to do it first your a at any time t is equal to e not e to the power minus lambda t now you know half life you can calculate lambda at at the at at you can write 6.8 a not you can write 15.26 and calculate the value of t you will get an answer right but if you use a simple method that after one half life it becomes half after two half lives it becomes 1 by 2 
1 by 2 square. So after n half lives, it will become 1 upon 2 to the power n, right? This should be equal to 6.8 upon 15.26, right? What is the fraction that is remaining? Right? How much it has? See, if it if it was 100, it would have become 50 after one half life. So half 1 to the power 2 will be 50 upon 100, right? After two half lives, it will be 25 upon 100. After three half life, it will be 12.5 upon 100. Right? So this is the original amount which is 15.26. How much it has become? 6.8. If I do it 1 upon 2 to the power n, I can get how many half lives it has gone through. So from here if you calculate, how you will calculate this? See, 2 to the power n is equal to 15.26 upon 6.8. Now if I take log on both sides, log 2 is equal to log of 15.26 divided by 6.8 right and this 2 log of 2 to the power n this n will come this side right from here i can calculate my value of n log of 15.26 divided by 6.8 divided by log 2 from here you will get a value of n right now take that value of n that means that many half life has gone it will come out to be 1.166 something multiply it with 5370 means one half life means 5370 so n half lives will be n into 5370 years right if you calculate this you will get 6262.2 years okay this is the correct answer the age of the sample will be 6262.2 years okay just make sure you are using the calculator and you take enough digits so that you don't get because you have to round it off to one decimal so just calculate the value of n here whatever you get multiply that with 5370 you will get the correct answer okay next question a digital camera with a focal length of 150 millimeter is flown at the height of 3000 meter over the flat terrain the scale of the photograph so this is simple a scale of photograph and this is given by focal length divided by h the height here it is 150 millimeters and uh, this is 3000 meters so i have to convert it into millimeters 3000 into 10 to the power 3 millimeters right same units so this is gone 15 20 so 20 thousand so scale will be 1 upon 20 thousand so 1 is to 20 thousand so this will be 20 thousand this will be the scale of the map aerial photograph uh, photograph by scale right very good question uh, following reactions occurs at 1 bar and 823 kelvin okay grossular plus quartz gives you an orthite plus 2 volastonite first of all uh, in a pt graph because they are asking you the slope in bar per kelvin so they are asking you a slope of a pt graph right now this reaction when it attains equilibrium we can apply the clausius clapeyron equation which tells you that dp by dt which will be the slope of this graph will be equal to del s by del v right del s of this reaction and del v of this reaction when you are going from grossular plus quartz to this what is the change in entropy divided by what is the change in volume so if you calculate this this will be see change in entropy of a reaction will be whatever is the entropy sum of the entropy of products right minus sum of all the entropy of the reactants uh, divided by volume of the products minus volume of the reactants this will be the change in volume right if i put the values here so i said this is in kilojoules i'll put it in joules because this is in joules and finally the joules will get cancelled so i'll just put it in joules multiply this with thousand okay so an orthite is 0.2 so this will be 200 plus this is 82 in, in joules if i multiply with thousand but this is 2 volastonite so it will be 2 into 82 right minus grossular is 255 plus 42 
this divided by 10 product mein 10.079 plus 2 into 3.993 minus 12.535 plus 2.269 right if you solve this achha, let's see the units this this numerator will be joules per kelvin and denominator will be joules per bar so joules joules will cancel bar will be go bar will go up so this unit will be bar per kelvin and it is asking in bar per kelvin so okay whatever the answer comes here will be the correct answer it will come out to be 20.55 or 54 something but if you round it off it will be 20.55 so the correct option a uh, correct answer will be 20.55 bars per kelvin okay last question operating cost of an open cast gold mine is rupees for 4000 per ton recovery at the mill is 90 percent at a gold price of rupees 4550 per gram the cutoff grade of the gold calculated on the basis of operating cost okay see what is what does operating this recovery means recovery means if you are taking out let's say 1000 ton of ore right out of that only 900 kg is we can use to take out gold that means 90 percent is the recovery remaining 100 will go as waste or it will be get deposited back means you cannot use it for calculating of you know mining gold out of it okay so now let's say the cost is 4000 per ton so you are spending 4000 rupees for ton but you are actually getting 900 kgs right because of the recovery you get my point 4000 per ton but recovery is only 90 percent so only name in recovery is 90 percent so 4000 you are actually spending for 900 kgs so for one ton how much you will get for thousand how much you will have to spend for thousand so 4000 divided by 900 in 2000 this much money i will spend per ton right i can write this this much rupees per ton i'll have to spend if i have to mine one ton remember if you take out one ton only 900 kg you will be able to mine getting my point so to mine one ton you need to spend this much amount okay i think this is clear so this is from if you spend this much money right you will get one ton of ore to mine okay now let's say uh, your uh, cutoff grade is x gram per ton let's say you have to calculate this let's say it is x gram per ton right so if you sell this for one ton you get x gram how many how much money you will get out of it so x remember x gram per ton into 4550 rupees per gram this is the gold price right so this gram gram will get cancelled right this much rupees per ton you will earn from the market so x into 4550 rupees per ton you will earn this should be equal to this isko equal kar do iske 4000 divided by 900 into 1000 right so you have, if you solve this isko solve karoge jab so you will get the value of x so yahan nikal deta hu x will be equal to first of all let me this gets cancelled right and uh, this zero gets cancelled from here so what you get here is 4000 divided by 9 
divided by 4 double 5 0 if you solve this you will get 0 point no 4 double 5 0 near 4 double 5 just this solve this you will get 0 0.976 something like this so if you have to round it off it will be 0 0.98 gram per ton right so this will be the cutoff grade at which your company will not if you are doing this job you will not feel any loss right jitna paisa aap utna nikalne mein lagaoge ye paisa utne ka hi wo market mein bik jayega right agar isse zyada hua to achhi baat hai grade aapka isse zyada ho gaya to lekin is agar 0.98 hai this is the cutoff grade cutoff grade ka matlab ye ki isse agar kam hua grade to fir aap loss pe chale jaoge you will be doing this business at a loss if it is more than that that will be your profit cutoff grade is just equal ki whatever is the price of the gold and whatever gold you are mining is same in the cost of operation and cost of gold is same right so this will be the answer here so uh, i hope uh, you understood all the solutions so see you in the next video but i hope this clears all your doubts if you have any doubt please mention it in the comment section and uh, we are starting our classes soon so there's a form description in the link you can also fill that form if you want to join our classes so chalo take care and all the best